Kyle and I are standing in a a beautiful sea of Peco beans, right? I mean, this, this, Indeed. this yes. feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's great. Walk us through a little bit about how these are made. Sure. And, and what's important to the design um, for, for the building and for, for the systems to work? Sure. So to touch a little bit about the difference in geometry, the sort of trapezoidal shape and also the name Delta Beam, yep. it's really based off of the Greek letter Delta, which okay. is kind of a triangle, right? Okay. So that's kind of the, the start of the design. When it comes to the different geometries, these are actually the mo most unique beams on this particular project, where on the upper level, there are some transfer conditions that are, are uh, being taken account to. So even this first beam, or these first two beams, you can see like, there's this drop step here, yeah. which is required to get some additional moment capacity to pick up those transfer loads. So this will still be exposed. And if you look at the first beam up ahead, on this particular side, this will actually accommodate a difference in elevation. So on one side, the hollow core will be higher up, uh, but we're actually accommodating the, the, the change of elevation. In terms of the overall design as well and how it's manufactured, you yeah. can kind of see there is some pre-camber on the beams. Interesting. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that before. So that is designed in essentially and yep. it's several steel plates that are uh, the, again the bottom plate will be pre-cambered and everything's cut on a big plasma table so in terms of changes of geometry and customization really the possibilities are endless and so the top plate the bottom plate and the webs will all be cut on that plasma table so each one of these penetrations is all cut with a cnc controlled uh, plasma table okay set into a jig there's shop installed reinforcement in the interior section of the beam. When it comes to fire rating, obviously mm -hmm. structures have to take that into consideration. Absolutely. The code. Have the beams been UL rated and tested, is that correct? Yes, absolutely. So they're, the Delta beam itself is a true composite beam that takes into account both the steel profile on the exterior as well as the concrete in the interior section as well. So really the concrete design in the interior is where the fire rating comes from. Okay. Uh, so there are UL listings for one through four hours. And really the main difference between say a one hour at a beam and a two or a three or a four is the amount of reinforcement in the interior section to offset the uh, loss of capacity under fire as the bottom section heats up. Right. But this top concrete section is still considered at full strength. So yeah. the, the lower section needs the additional support from, from the rebar. And, and, and because of that, and UL for our customers is Underwriters Laboratory. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nationwide, um, I'll say specification organization that does special tests to yep. say that, hey, they designed this product and this definitely meets code. Yes. And that's basically what we have here. The neat thing is no fireproof is required here. That's it's, absolutely right. It can be exposed or it can just get a drop ceiling or whatever other uh, architectural feature that the architect would want mm -hmm. uh, on the absolutely. inside of the building. So yeah, that's huge. Yeah. It's huge. It can completely eliminate the need for any spray on fireproofing and uh, Holocore can pretty easily get a two hour rating as well. And I believe Very you, you have so. some UL testing as well to oh, yeah. support that as well. Yep, two, three, four hours, absolutely, okay. yep, for yeah. sure. Um, so it really ties together quite nicely. And um, on this particular project as well, I believe the intention is to leave both the beams and the hollow core exposed and have kind of an industrial yeah. concrete and steel look on the interior Yeah, our, our, our customer developer um, has that theme in many of their projects and their tenants love it. I mean, it's, it's such a cool, I don't want to say uh, new age, but just a, a, a traditional real feel to their, to their units. Absolutely. And, and they're, our building behind us is already full. That's why they're building this next one. They, I know they've got tenants excited to be getting in the new facility. So uh, yeah, that's super exciting. Well, let, let's go up onto a floor. Sure. And as we get up there, maybe just walk us through a little bit about what you're looking at and, sure. and what's intriguing to you. 